So today we are going to take out this cyst right here on Jim's forehead. This is called an epidermal inclusion cyst. And what it is, it's basically where the skin has kind of grown in on itself and formed a sac of keratin. And Jim does not like it, so we're going to take it off. So here we have the cyst all numbed up. And my goal when I do these cysts is actually to get the biggest thing out of a, the smallest hole possible. So we have end up with the smallest scar. And I'm going to use a 5 millimeter punch, is what this little tool is. And it kind of just punches out a little teeny tiny plug of skin. I gotta be very careful not to go too deep. The goal is to basically get down to the top of the cyst wall without cutting it so that we can pull the cyst out intact. Sometimes the cyst uh, wall will rupture. It's actually extremely common for that to happen because it's kind of, the cyst wall is almost like wet toilet paper. As you can see here, here is the cyst actually attached to the skin. So this is very encouraging because the chances of getting it out intact are actually really good here. The trick here is to basically release it from all the tissue that is kind of scarred around it and pull it out in one piece. And the cyst is really cooperating in that regard, which is very nice. There we go. And we're going to send this off to a pathologist. And the nice thing here is, from the outside, that cyst looked like it was about a little over a centimeter, but we only have a five millimeter hole, which is really quite nice. Um, and we're going to sew it up so it matches uh, Jim's existing forehead wrinkles. Just holds so up. we have one deep suture in there, and as you can see, I have the skin approximated uh, very nicely. You're not even going to see this wrinkle, uh, excuse me, the scar a year from now. Faces in general are very forgiving. These sutures will stay in just for about between five to seven days. In general, sutures come out much more quickly on the face because uh, the face really heals a lot more quickly than elsewhere in the body because of the, the circulation.